everyone, welcome back to you Volunteer. Today is review week and I have a very special video. I'm going to be reviewing a very special nine-year-old girl named Emily Rosa. In psychology, there are many therapies for many different disorders. Some of them are effective and they've been scientifically proven, and others, not so much. Touch therapy was mainly practiced by nurses, and it was a way for people with serious mood disorders or anxiety disorders to be sort of relieved of the bad energies in their body. A nurse practicing this touch therapy would have the patient lie down on a bed. The nurse would have his or her hands gently above the patient, moving it up and down and feeling for the bad energy in the patient. When this bad energy was felt, it would just be moved out of the body by the nurse through this floating, I guess, of the hands. Now this is where Emily Rosa comes in. She wanted to see if this touch therapy had any realness to it. So what Emily Rosa did is she set up a cardboard sort of barrier, just like this one, but slightly bigger, so that the nurse could not see past the barrier. So what she did was she cut out two holes, one right here and one right here, for the nurse to put their hands through. So they would put their hands facing up in these two holes, and Emily Rosa would hover her hand over the, the nurse's right hand or the nurse's left hand. Emily wanted to see if these energies that touch therapy was boasting about knowing everything about could actually be felt when there was no visual aid. Many different uh, touch therapists would come in and voluntarily do this experiment. They would confidently put their hands through the holes and Emily would put their hand over her hand over the right, over the therapist's right hand, and the therapist would say, left. Over the right hand again, right. Over the left hand, right. It turns out that the highest score that these therapists got was a four out of 10 trials that, are, that were a correct guess. This is worse than if they were just guessing randomly because that would be approximately a 50-50 chance of getting it right or wrong because there are two hands. So this little nine-year-old girl completely debunked a, a therapy that was being used in real psychological treatment scenarios by real nurse practitioners just by a simple science project. Naturally, this is review week, so I do have to review Emily Rosa. And if I had to rate her, I would give her a solid 11 out of 10 because at nine years old to debunk such a theory that was so practiced and used, even though it sounds ridiculous when you say it, is completely amazing. I hope you've enjoyed, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time on You Volunteer.